Hello everyone. This video gives you the information about the functional and operational aspects of QHV Smart pin cable pin pointer T506. You can see this T506 cable smart pin pointer. It has nice design. It is rugged, lightweight with three different sensors can be used in different areas. A flat sensor can be used in a flat surface or on the road or on the tiles or wherever it is and it, ha it will be provided along with the two additional sensors which can be used in different areas such as muddy surface as well as the flat flat surface. The handle is adjustable and easy to connect. You can see you can adjust the height as per the requirement. Tight it. And then it is easy lock in and lock out. This smart pin pointer has three LED indications trigger, power and Bluetooth. This is the charging socket. This smart pin pointer is used along with the industrial tab and headphones to pinpoint the fault location. When you switch on the sensor and the software, it automatically gets connected. You can see the power on switch as well as the Bluetooth on when it's connected and the software opens. The software has two modes, operator mode and waveform mode. You can see here this is the operator mode. You can go to waveform mode. In operator mode you can see the acoustic and magnetic strength signals and you can increase or decrease the sensor to identify the different uh, to increase or decrease the sensitivity of the sensor. This block shows the test in progress. Once the fault is found, it stops and displays the time in milliseconds based on the signal received from the fault point. It can vary from 0.13 milliseconds to 1.2 milliseconds with a distance of plus or minus 10 millimeters from the fault point. This block shows the pointer position whether you are on the right side or left side of the cable. You can hear the arc sound in the iPad or the headphone or you can mute it along with this option. You can select different filters based on the requirement. And you can also ask for the assistance to QHV International Limited if you have any doubts. Or you can set up different languages or upgrade the software whenever it is required. Once the fault is found, you can see that the triggered signal changes to fault detected. We will soon see a small demonstration to see how this pin pointer works along with the smart software. If you go to the waveform mode, you can see different signals magnetic waveform magnetic signal waveform and acoustic signal waveform based on the time and it also gives the time delay in milliseconds based on the location you can also see the indication of the arc created when there is thumping or triggering happening at the fault point let's make a small demonstration of fault identification now. We have switched on the equipment and we press start. It takes like three seconds to get connected and you can just see that you are getting a waveform mode. Change it to operator mode. You can see that it is still searching. Let's change our direction to the fault point. There's a cable laid underground. You can see that if there is any fault or no fault. So it's still scanning. When we are keeping it to the fault point, you can see that 
there is an increase in the sensitivity. You can see that there is a triggering beep, red indication on the sensor when there is a triggering happening. But the fault is exactly at the white paper which is set there. You can see that there is an indication of fault closer to that. But when you go closer and closer to the fault point, you can see the indication. Triggered, triggered, and triggered. So when you see that there is a fault point, when you place the sensor on the fault location, you can see that there is a triggering indication as well as a change of uh, fault detected. And automatic the waveforms of the acoustic and the magnetic field. Go to the sensor mode you can see that the fault is identified at 0.625 milliseconds which is exactly closer to the fault distance and you can see that the sensor is placed on the right side of the cable. This gives the strength of the acoustic signal and the magnetic signal and it shows that fault detected. Let's move on the sensor and see what happens. Let's change it to different directions. Triggered, triggered. Now the sensor is moving because we have moved our sensor on the right and the left side. Now let's place it closer to the fault point and you see how it identifies. Triggered, triggered, fault detected. So it is detecting the fault at uh, 0.5 millisecond which means you are exactly on the fault point. I hope you have received enough information on the usage of QHVT506 cable smart pin pointer. If you need more information please contact us. Thank you.